Welcome to this presentation on tips and advice for electronics. These are the tools required for building electronics kits. First, the essentials. A standard soldering iron between 20 to 60 watts. A 1 to 2 millimeter cone tip is suitable for most projects. Some soldering wire. A basic version is fine, but you can also get wire that has resin in the core, but this is more expensive. A needle nose pliers. This is ideal for manipulating small components in tight spaces and can also be used for cutting wire. A wire snips. This is essential for snipping off the ends of electronic component stems after soldering. The fine tip enables you to get in close to the printed circuit board. A precision tweezers. Many components are very small. The tweezers allows you to pick them up easily and helps position them into place. Note the tips are angled. A soldering iron holder. Your soldering iron remains hot during use, so it's important to have somewhere suitable to place it between uses to reduce the likelihood of burns. Some soldering resin. This reduces surface tension and can make molten solder easier to work with and also helps to minimize oxidation. Heat-resistant sponge or gauze for cleaning your soldering iron tip. A desoldering pump which enables you to remove solder. You depress the plunger, melt the solder you wish to remove, then press the button which causes the piston to quickly retract and this sucks up the unwanted solder. And now for some other tools which are not essential, but can be very useful. Helping hands. This tool has adjustable clamps that can be used to hold things, freeing up your hands for other work. It also often comes with a light and magnifying glass, and even a soldering iron holder. It's not an essential tool but it can be very useful for close inspection of your work and can make assembling small circuits much easier. A digital multi-meter. This can be used to troubleshoot circuits using the continuity setting and for testing electronic components to ensure they are not faulty. A set of precision screwdrivers and a blade or wire strippers for stripping wires. Be sure to take care with sharp instruments. There are many other electronics tools, but these are the most commonly used. Note these safety precautions when working with electronics. Kits contain small parts which are a choking hazard. Keep out of reach of small children. Take care to avoid burns from your soldering iron. Wear safety glasses to protect your eyes from flying clippings. Anyone observing should also be wearing safety glasses. Avoid breathing in solder smoke or getting it in your eyes. Ensure your seat is comfortable and everything you need is within easy reach. Take regular breaks to avoid repetitive strain. Now, let's move on to some soldering tips. Get to know your PCBs. The positions of all components are usually clearly marked. This is often all you need to assemble a device. Keep the materials that you need within easy reach. It's important to work quickly, as molten solder solidifies fast. The stems for electronic components are very easy to bend with just your hands. Sometimes it's necessary to bend the pins to align them to the holes on the PCB that they need to go through. To install the components, push the pins through the relevant holes on the PCB. The body of the component typically goes on the silk screen side of the board. Ensure your soldering iron is hot, then place the tip into some soldering resin. Resin is optional, but recommended. Then, place the tip of the iron next to the component stem, and gently apply solder. The solder will quickly melt and should flow around the stems. Remove your soldering iron, and the solder will quickly solidify, securing the connection. Inspect closely to make sure the connection is good. Use your wire snips to snip away the excess stems from the components. Be sure to get close to the PCB when snipping. Check that the component is properly soldered. The body of the component should not move and the soldered connection should be shaped like a volcano. 
make sure there's no short circuit between connections. You now have the basic knowledge for starting out with electronics. You can find out much more by reading our blog at this link. Check out our store, thesciencehut.com, to see the range of electronics kits we have on offer. Bye for now.